Hey guys, it's Jasmine again, the artist behind Art by Jasmine Lillian. For those of you who are new to my channel, I want to extend a huge welcome and to those of you coming back, thank you so much. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint some simple crystals. All right guys, so here are some examples of crystals that I've painted before, all different colors, sizes, and shapes. All right, so one of the first things that you need to get before you start drawing or painting your crystals is a reference photo. Yes, a reference photo. So that can mean any photo on the internet that you see of crystals. There are a whole ton of them out there since crystals are very popular. Or if you have your own crystals at home, take it out and try to draw or paint that one. All right, so I'm just starting off here drawing some basic crystal shapes. As you can see, it's create or they are created with straight lines and geometric shapes. And you can make them tall, you can make them short and fat. Um, you definitely want to vary the sizes of your crystals, especially when you're creating a cluster, then it will add some um, visual appeal to your painting. And there's lots of different ways to create the crystals you can see on some of them. I have some like pentagon shapes on the points and on that top one there, it's like building a pyramid on top of it as well. But even something as basic as this, just to get a few crystals in there and you can pretty much build anything from there. On that crystal on the bottom, I'm just adding an extra little bump that sticks out there. Alright, so on to painting some crystals, and you can really use whatever colors you like. Right now I am using a violet with some ultramarine blue and some white mixed with it. Something very important to keep in mind is where your light is going to come from. So in these crystals, my light is going to be coming from the top right. So I'm adding this medium tone, mostly in the middles not all the way to the shadow side of the crystals and every now and again i'll mix up some like extra ultramarine blue or extra violet into my paint colors just to change the flavor of the colors in your crystals because you don't want to have the same color going all the way throughout you want to have some purples that are more like bluish purples and some purples that are more like purple purple and maybe even if you want to you can do some like pinkish purples in there too but you definitely want to have a few different flavors so in this color right here you can see I added a little bit more blue to it I probably added some of that phthalo blue in there and I just I, I mixed it with that same pile of colors and I'm adding this color in similar spots since it's also a medium tone And then I just mixed up um, one or more of the uh, pinkish purple colors. So I used magenta with a little bit of the violet and a little bit of white. And I'm adding this also in similar areas, maybe a little bit more towards the shadow side. Don't forget to get like little crystal pieces in there. Your crystals don't have to be as detailed as mine are. I have quite a few different uh, faces of my crystal. Faces meaning like it's 3D, so it has like all these different faces to it. Um, so any of those little pieces, I'll just call those the faces. And really it's just, it's just kind of deciding where to put them. Just want to stick with your darks on the shadow side of your crystals, the mediums mostly in the middle, and then you can mix some really, really bright colors to put on the right side or the tops. All right, so here I got that violet and a little bit of ultramarine blue mixed with it, but I have no white mixed with this. So I'm adding these to the darkest spots on my crystals. Um, you can see sometimes I'll kind of blend over or bleed over into different faces that are right next to those dark spots. And that's just to kind of add um, some lighting in there. So if, if you have light shining on your crystals and you have a dark spot next to it, that dark spot's gonna bleed into a little bit of the other side because crystals are transparent. 
So again, just kind of adding this dark color, making some decisions. And again, I bled over into some of the other faces. It'll make more sense when I go to outline everything. And I'm just doing the same thing with that pinkish purple, kind of making it bleed into some of the other faces that are close to that pinkish purple color. And then here, I just mixed a lot of white with that pinkish purple color, adding a little bit more magenta to it. And as you can see, I'm laying this color mostly on the tops of my crystals, where the light is shining the most. And it's okay if you're working with your crystals here and you don't get your colors exactly how you like them at first, just keep going, just fill everything in first before you decide you hate your painting. Because you won't hate it, I promise. You put lots of love into it. That's like one of the biggest things as an artist is getting past things that look weird at first because the end result is gonna look way better than what it's looking like at first. So keep with it, stick with it. And again, I just kind of keep adding some of this light pinkish purple color and then now I clean my brush I always clean my brush off in between colors just so you guys know um, I added white to that ultramarine blue and violet mixture and see I'm even making some edits here and there I'm like oh this this little slice should be lighter the lights probably hitting it a little bit more And I'm just adding this to the tops. It's not my brightest color yet. There are gonna be brighter colors. And even that little piece there, I wanted to lighten up quite a bit. And that's like a little shelf that's jutting out from that top crystal. So I covered that with that lighter color as well. And letting it bleed into spots that are next to it. Because even on the dark spots of your crystal, there will still be light that touches it and it will shine. And now I mixed like the tiniest amount of that ultramarine blue and purple with a whole bunch of white. So I'm using this super, super light. It looks white on the video, but it's a little bit off white. I never use pure white until I do my outlines. And again, I'm just using that really, really light color to paint the tops and like the mostly that right side, top right sides of those crystal faces. And then I went through, I pulled up some of that pinkish purple color again, added it to that little spot there. And I'm just going back through and adding whatever colors I think would look best in the missing spots and the missing areas of the crystal faces. So right now I'm going back through with my dark colors. Um, if you do paint a black background like I did on my crystals, you are very likely going to have to do a double coat of colors. So once I go through and map out my colors, I'm gonna be going back through again and kind of adding maybe some little bit different colors on top of the colors that are already on the faces so right here you can see i have that ultramarine blue and probably a little bit of phthalo blue on that brush there and i'm going through those um medium bluish purple faces so again it's completely okay if you're like oh i think these should be darker or, oh i think these should be a little bit lighter to go back through and do them again because you will more than likely have to do two coats and honestly with acrylic paint layering is very important because it gives all these different little i don't know it's like light playing on your crystals so you're going to be adding slightly different colors on there or slightly lighter colors on there and it's just going to make them look that much better Oh, I mix a little bit of purple with that purplish pink, the light purplish pink. And on that second coat is when I'm really going to be paying attention to my colors bleeding into different faces. So like if you have that purplish pink on some of your faces and you have a different color next to it, you can kind of add a little bit of that color right on that border because crystals, again, they're transparent. 
decided there I want the, that face to be a little bit lighter it's all a process as long as you have fun that's the important part but again these are just basic crystals you guys can you can do them as detailed as I have mine you can do them a little bit more basic like the drawings I had in the beginning just to see um, kind of how light plays with crystals so really crystal paintings they're very very good for um, figuring out how lighting works on paintings because they are like they're flat faces on there so you know that the lights gonna be shining really bright on some of them and not so bright on some of the other spots and they're it's already blocked out so it's pretty fun at least I think it's pretty fun I paint crystals quite often and every time that you paint crystals it's gonna get better and better going back through kind of adding some of that ultramarine blue with some violet on those darker blue spots and letting it bleed through in some of the brighter areas and some of that bleed through it really it doesn't pop until you start to add the, um, the outlines at the end of your painting so right now it looks kind of messy you got to always remember where your original blocking was, like all your different faces, where they are and where your lines are going to be. Which if you're working on your own painting, you will definitely be aware of that. I'm just adding some of that violet and ultramarine blue with no white mixed with it. Maybe adding some little darker spots to make them look a little bit more transparent. It is a black background, so it's okay to have some of these super dark colors. That's also another thing to think about. If you have a white background that you're going to be working with, you might have a lot lighter colors than I have. And really, you can do whatever color scheme you want. I wanted to make mine look more amethysty. Um, they're not exactly amethysts, they're my crystals, they're Jasmine's crystals. Um, but if you are using um, a specific color scheme, you want to use colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. So magenta is super close to the violet and violet is super close to blue, so I kind of picked those three colors. Now, if you're doing like iridescent crystals, you're probably going to be using a lot more different colors than that, but that's a different story. Try, try some of these crystals first. Try crystals, pick three colors and white and kind of play with them. So again, I'm going back through, I'm adding some lighter colors, just kind of making those bleed in spots to make my crystals look a little bit more transparent. You can even see on that one, I, I lighten it up pretty, quite a bit, and I was like, uh, I need to blend that out a little bit more. And you can do that if you, if you make a spot too bright in your dark spots, you can always mix back that dark color. If you look at my palette, it's a hot mess most of the time. I'm all about mixing them colors together. So here I have a super, super duper tiny liner brush that I mixed and I, I don't even think I use pure white. I use still a little bit of an off white to outline the faces of my crystals. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, you can play with using some just white like on the brightest spots on your crystals and maybe using some dark outlines. But outlines really help a crystal bring it together because otherwise because paint's a messy medium, you're gonna have it kind of bleed over in some spots, but when you add those lines, it just holds all those crystals together and you're like, yes, those are crystals. So again, I'm using this like little bit of an off-white and outlining the faces of my crystals. This is where you have to remember where all of your lines used to be that you covered up with paint. Also a good reason to make sure that you use lots of different color mixes. And you'll see this, you can see even on these crystals, they're starting to come together. 
You can see all the different shapes that I have on the top parts of my crystals, the pointy parts. Like I talked about with the drawing, you can see that pentagon on this one. And then I also have a couple other faces on there. As long as you stick with geometric shapes, you're good. And crystal clusters are pointy. They're like really, really tall, skinny. Well, not always skinny. Like I said, you can have some fat crystals, short and fat crystals. You want to vary the sizes. And on these crystals, I wanted these to mostly be tall. I wanted them to just layer on top of each other. This is actually the first um, crystal painting I've done with this kind of style of crystal clusters. Usually I will um, add some of like the, I don't know, like the crunchy stuff is what I like to call it. Um, basically those tiny, tiny little crystals that don't really have a shape that we can see with our eyes. Um, but you saw those examples earlier on in the video and that can be done with just stamping with colors and I always start my darkest colors to lightest colors when I add those on there and those can really bring a crystal painting together as well but these crystals they're kind of coming from a spot that you don't really see it goes off the canvas or in this case it goes off the coaster so this is a painting on a, a wood round if you're using a canvas, it, your paints are definitely going to be blending a lot easier than mine did. So if you're just starting out, go ahead and just grab a canvas, a tiny little canvas. You can use a canvas panel, whatever kind of uh, surface you want to use, use it. And I'm just going back through, I'm adding some shiny spots with that light, 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 almost white color to make the crystals shine a little bit more. So as you can see, once you add the, the outlines to all of the crystal faces, your crystals start to come together and then you're like, oh, I should add some shinier spots here and do some final touch-ups. Now keep in mind, if you make little happy accidents, you might have to go back over your line work, which I do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Getting some crystals in there. I'm adding some shiny spots. I don't always do that either. I'm just making these tiny little starburst shapes right on what I deem the shiniest spots on my crystals. You can add those if you want to, you don't have to. Just some little extra touches on there that you can do. And sign it. Alright guys, so that's all I've got for you today. If you guys painted along with me, I would love to see your photos. Go ahead and post those in the comments below. If there's anything else you would like to learn how to paint, also comment below. And if you want to see more content and more tutorials, go ahead and click subscribe. Happy painting!